I often tell my students that appetite looks like garnet, except it isn't. And this is a case in point. The central grain is actually appetite, but everything else around it is garnet. They look very, very similar until you cross the polars. And then what you see is the garnet goes black, but the appetite has this very weak uh, gray interference colors. Um, and so that's the characteristic. It kind of looks like garnet, but when you cross the polaris, it has great pleochroism. It actually has lower relief also. Here's another appetite almost in the center of the field of view. Another case in point, you can tell it has higher relief than the biotite and the muscovite that are around it. Um, you cross the polars, and at first it looks kind of black, and you think, oh, maybe that's a garnet. But then as you rotate the stage, oh, it's got a very faint uh, interference color there. And so then you know, oh, it's just an appetite that's kind of masquerading as a garnet. When I look at it again, I realize, oh, it does have lower relief than garnet. Here are a couple of appetite grains in the, near the center of the field of view. Um, they show this, this uh, pretty high relief. Um, and that's what really makes them stick out when you're, when you're looking through a thin section across the polars. And these are actually particularly gray. That's about as, as uh, bright as they ever get in um, cross polars. This is also characteristic of appetite. This is uh, where the long axis is in the plane of the thin section. Um, they tend to get these fractures that run through them. They tend to be sort of barrel shaped rather than prism shaped. Um, and here you cross the polars and you can see that that, that really is as bright as it ever gets in uh, cross polars. Yeah, just another little group of apatite crystals in the, in the center. There's also a zircon crystal, which is that little five-sided, almost house-shaped uh, crystal, also close to the center. Um, again, that's super high relief. When you cross the polars, then you can see the apatite grains or those little droplets, uh, gray interference colors. Uh, the zircon is the little bright green interference colors on the sort of house-shaped crystal.